The Lesson Activity Toolkit is a set of games and exercises that help you to bring interactivity to your lessons. This example is of an anagram exercise where students can come to the board and take turns rearranging the letters. As you can see, it's scored and you can set it so the words become progressively more challenging. The Lesson Activity Toolkit has its own folder within the Gallery tab. If you don't have the Lesson Activity Toolkit, then you can download it from the Smart Tech website. We covered that in a separate video. You may want to check from time to time that your Lesson Activity Toolkit is up to date. Click this icon, click Check for Updates and select Lesson Activity Toolkit. You can then see if there are any changes to be applied. In this case, there's not. Let's take a look inside the Lesson Activity Toolkit folder. The top subfolder contains the activities. We'll be looking at them shortly. The second folder down is called Examples, and these are actually examples of activities that have been completed by SMART, so it's very easy for you to see the intended use of each exercise and activity. It really is worth spending some time browsing these when you first get to know the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Once you have familiarised yourself with the Lesson Activity Toolkit examples, you may want to start building your own activity. So in this case I've selected the Activities folder and we're going to build an anagram activity. There are six templates listed here and they actually are arranged in terms of colour. Um, I'm going to try to use a blue one, so I drag it onto the page to load it. Nearly all of the Lesson Activity Toolkit examples are edited in the same way. They have an edit button in the top left hand corner. Pressing this brings up a screen where you can actually add your own content to the exercise. In this case, I can enter the words for my anagram into this box here. There is also the option to add a clue into this box here and you can even drag an image in to help people guess the word. When I have finished designing my activity I can click the OK button to set it into game mode. Before we do that though notice that you can add a password so students can't take a sneaky peek at your answers. You can also set the speed of the countdown and whether there's a timer or not. Now we can see what the finished activity looks like. You may find that setting notebook to go full screen helps when you're using lesson activity toolkit examples, as I've done here. There are all sorts of treasures in the lesson activity toolkit. This is a great example. It's called keyword match. On the left hand side, you type in your keyword and on the right hand side, a description. Let's look at what a finished example looks like. Once the activity is complete, the students can come to the board and drag the keyword to match the description. At any point they can hit check and their answers will be checked. There's also an option to automatically solve the puzzle, although you can disable this in the settings. As well as the activities, it's worth looking in the tools section too, as there's some real goodies in there. This is an example called the checker tool. Here the students can come to the board and write what they think is the answer, and then tap to turn it into text. They can then drag over the appropriate box, and it tells them if they're correct or not. Setting the correct answer for the checker tool it's very similar to the activities. Click on the box here and type in the word to be checked. You can also make it case sensitive or not. If you're teaching English, you may find the text splitter useful. 
With this you can simply drag text into the box and then split it down into words. You can then create some exciting games on the notebook page. That concludes the brief introduction to the Lesson Activity Toolkit. As I said before, there's absolutely so much in there that you'll need to go and spend some time exploring it for yourself. But there's some really great ideas to make your lessons interactive and fun.